kings and the lord of lords for eight hours in fact we did almost nine hours in his presence full of power full of glory full of grace healings miracles signs wonders like never before lift your voices and appreciate the king of kings and the lord of lords for this favor we have secured in his presence to him alone be all the glory in the name of jesus we are on the adventure of excellence our objective tonight is to understand the adventurous journey of excellence what it entails to successfully walk the walk of excellence. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and in verse 10. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and in verse 10. The Bible said, What things whatsoever thine hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work nor device nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. Whatsoever your hands find to do, do it with your might. For there is no work, no device, no knowledge, no wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. Do it with your might. Tonight it is important to note that excellence is an adventure, not a destination. We are on the adventure of excellence. Excellence is an adventure, not an achievement. Excellence is a journey, not a destination. The reason why it's an adventure and not an arrival, why excellence is an adventure and not a destination is, what is celebrated today may only be tolerated tomorrow. What we celebrated yesterday, most of them are being tolerated today. It is an adventure because everything that is visible, audible, and tangible is improvable. If it is visible, if it is audible, if it is tangible, it is improvable. So it's an adventure. It's an adventure because a wise man said the largest room in the universe is the room for improvement. The largest room in the universe is the room for improvement. So excellence is a journey you are on, not a place you arrive at. Excellence is an adventure of life, not a destination of life. Having said that, what do we do to be on this adventure called excellence? To be on this journey called excellence? Number one is decision for excellence. Decision for excellence. Excellence is a choice you make, not a gift you have. Excellence is a choice to make, not a gift somebody has. No one excels until he or she decides. No one excels until he or she decides. There is no dis there is no destination of life without a decision from man. No destination of life without a decision from man. Those who live life to chance have no chance. It takes a choice to stand out in life. It's a choice. 
like I said the other day, nobody stepped into the university and steps out of the university and attains a first class degree by chance. It's a choice. It was a choice, a, a determined, decided choice that was made. Nobody becomes an outstanding lawyer, outstanding medical doctor, outstanding minister of the gospel without a deliberate decision. You can never arrive at excellence without your decision, permission, and participation. You can never arrive at excellence or embark on the journey of excellence or be on the adventure of excellence without your decision, your permission, and your participation. It is a choice you make. It's a choice that says, I am going to stand out in life, whatever it takes. It is the choice that says, I am going to take the gifts of God in my life, the graces of God in my life, the talent of God in my life, and the potentials God has put in me, I am going to take them to the highest level possible. The highest level. The highest level, the highest level of the deployment of such potentials is a choice to make. You know, we have different kinds of furniture makers and carpenters. There are those who can make for you benches and there are those who can make for you a slightly improved table and chair. And there are those who can make for you the type that you can only prize and, 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 and buy and purchase in, 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 in five-star furniture warehouses. It is the same gift of furniture production taken and managed at different levels. At different levels. So, it is the decision. The excellence decision is a decision that says, what God has put in me, what I'm capable of doing, what I am doing with my life, I, am, I have made up my mind to take it to the highest level possible. David took his gift to the highest level until he took him to the palace of King Saul. Daniel took his gift to the highest level until it was 10 times better than the magicians of Egypt. So it is a decision for excellence that begins the adventure of excellence. Number two is association with the excellent. Association. The Bible said he that walked with, with the wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 20. Association with the excellent. It is clear through scripture that company affects quality. Company affects destiny. Company affects quality. The quality of person Daniel was could only have been associ as associated with similar quality of people like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were all 20 times or 10 times better than their contemporaries in Babylon. Jesus Christ had Peter, James, and John for his company. And at the end of the day, Peter, James, and John excelled above the other apostles. Aside Paul, the apostle who came in late. According to Acts chapter 4 and in verse 13. The value of your life is determined by the quality of people around you. The value you possess and the value you produce is a function of the value you associate with. There is a quality of people in your life that just upgrades your quality. They upgrade the way you think, the way you look at things, and the way you present things. It just changes your life. That is why we said you are not doing anything about your destiny until you are doing something about your company. It is not possible to walk in excellence if you are surrounded with mediocrity. A wise man said, 
Take a look at the seven most important people in your life. The seven most important people that surrounds your life, that speaks to your life, that talks to you. Just take a look at them. You are face to face with your future, with your future. No matter how hard you try, your network affects your net worth. Your network of people affects your net worth. It affects your worth. So, on the adventure of excellence, we have decision for excellence. We have association with the excellent. Number three is attention to details. We have said it over and over again. We have said this particular one over and over in the course of this discussion on excellence. Attention to details. We saw Genesis chapter 40 from, from verse 1 to verse 5. How it came to pass after these things that the butler of the king of Egypt and his baker had offended their lord the king of Egypt. And Pharaoh was wroth against two of his officers, against the chief of the butlers and against the chief of the bakers. And he put them in ward in the house of the captain of the guard into the prison, the place where, they, where Joseph was bound. And the captain of the guard charged Joseph with them and he served them and they continued a season in word. And they dreamed a dream, both of them, each man his dream in one night, each man according to the interpretation of his dream, the butler and the baker of the king of Egypt, which were bound in the prison. And Joseph came in the morning and looked upon them and behold, they were sad. And he asked. Now that was where attention to details came. Everybody saw the butler and the baker of the king of Egypt sad. But it didn't mean anything to anybody until someone who had the capacity to pay attention to details. Including attention to human feelings including attention to the emotion of others someone who had that capacity was available and that attention to details gave joseph distinction in egypt so many people in this world today pay attention to nothing and like we said if Attention to detail are ignored. This was how I said it. Progress is detained where attention to details are ignored. When you ignore attention to details, progress in life is detained. Joseph could have remained in prison far beyond where, far beyond the time he came out. If he didn't pay attention to details. Because by interpreting the dreams and the, of the butler and the baker, his detention season was over in the prison. Because he interpreted their dreams and they spoke to Pharaoh about him. And, and Pharaoh sent for him and that was the end of his detention in the prison. 